Hey guys, it's been about 12 days since I last recorded. Just wanted to show you what I've uh, gotten done so far. So, basically, I've added a health bar, as you may be able to notice. Uh, and I've also added uh, interaction with the buttons on the consoles. Uh, so basically, using a line trace method from the player character's camera uh, to a object uh, shows an interaction uh, interface thing uh, to tell you that you can interact with it. So if I press E on this uh, thing, I can power the TARDIS on and off a bit. So, yeah. Uh, I've also added sounds for most of the uh, switches and whatnot I have implemented into the game. can be a bit finicky as you have to uh, properly select activate the close to our system with that uh, turn it off uh, this little switch over here switches it to the Cavodi theme switch it again and Turn back to the Smith. Uh, not every button and lever and whatever has an animation. Uh, there is one that I've added an animation to, and that's the bottle. As you can tell. Place the animation to move up and down. Uh, so basically, as you can see, it doesn't activate the flight. That is basically because uh, you activate the flight with one of these three uh, things here. So let's say you select this one over here. Activate it. There you go. Now in stream flight mode. Plays all the sounds and whatnot. Uh, the lighting down here changes, and uh, the lighting here as well. Uh, so basically, it sets the time up. So you have to press these highlighted buttons. Uh, highlighted by a sort of blue that pulsates. Uh, but you press those and you... Uh, it gives you a random switch. So basically, random switches will be chosen at a... out of a selection of a few. So basically, it highlights them and you have to press those ones to be able to progress. If you do not press those, uh, you will start taking damage. So, if I press these ones, for example, that one still might stays at all. So, that still doesn't thing. Press that. Nope. So, if I just wait this out for a few more seconds. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, I've taken damage on the health bar on the bottom left. Uh, the health bar is set to 100 and it takes away 20 health each time. So, you get about 5 turns to nothing. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, to more 
damage, so three more tries. Let's exit flat mode for now. So plays the correct sound for it. And it stops. Uh, all the lighting returns to normal, even these ones and uh, the things around the room. Uh, so, uh, turn off the power on this one, as before, uh, lighting's like that. Uh, the splitter one. Basically, these three are difficulty settings. The left one being the easiest option with about 25 seconds, the middle one being medium difficulty with about 15 seconds, and the one on the right is hard with about 10 seconds. Back to the smith. Changes the sound as well for the flight. Uh, the this thing here doesn't really have any sound because I couldn't find any sound that seemed appropriate for it. Uh, most of the sounds stay the same. Flat mode. So I've got about two more health to until I take damage and cannot fly the TARDIS or have it function again. So let's go to a hardest difficulty. Basically, if I let the health go down to about 20, which is one point the cloister bell will be activated as a sign of it being badly damaged, but uh, still alive, just about. As you can see it works with both interiors, you can switch between them and it doesn't affect it. There we go. Lighting stays the same. Pulsates as it does. Uh, switching interior. There we go. 
Uh, so, what happens if I let it die? Let's demonstrate that. There we go. So, if I try to do this, I cannot deactivate it. It just stays on. Even if you disable the power. There we go. As you can see, the TARDIS is, well, basically dead. You can't press any other buttons, you can't really do anything. Uh, you can't really affect the TARDIS at all. So, yeah, that's basically the game for now. Still got some uh, basic hotkeys set up. Uh, as you can tell, I've updated. As you might be able to tell, I've updated it to Unreal Engine 5.2 since I was uh, creating this project in 5.0.3 as part of a project. Uh, I had limited options for the engine version since I could not uh, change the version within certain areas, certain devices. So I had to work around that and create it in 5.0.3 and then port this over to 5.2 which has made the textures and materials so much better with like this central lighting. It looks how it should rather than uh, the lighting not reaching around the room and making more areas dim. This actually makes it more like the TARDIS, with the warmness of the orange glow throughout the room, and the same with the bluey green colour of the room here. But yeah, that's the uh, TARDIS once more. This might be it for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue updating this, uh, but I'm giving it a break for now to work on a few other things in my life. Uh, until that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.